welcome back to another vlog sorry if I'm being a little quiet my voice is kind <clears> of <throat> coming in it's a little bit early the kids are still sleeping we are about to get them ready and head out the door to do some more berry picking because Noah absolutely loved that you guys he's been asking to go back so I was like let's do strawberries this time and yeah so we're about to go do that and I'm going to take you guys along with the day I have a lot of things kind of to do in this vlog. I have a lot of home decor stuff. I really wanted to kind of update and refresh some of our home decor. I also have like a little snack I want to try with the kids. Probably some sensory play. We'll see what else happens in this vlog. But yeah, so let's go get the kids up and get, the, get them ready. We have no coffee for the day. Like absolutely, I don't think we do. No, we have absolutely none. I packed a few things for the kids to let's set you guys down right here. I packed a few things for the kids on the road. Really nothing to show. I think I showed you guys last time what I packed. It's basically the same thing. And yeah, outfit of the day. I'm just wearing a little jumper and it's like tied up here. Super cute. And then it has like a little string. So it kind of like accentuates the waist or whatever. So it's not too baggy. And yeah, and then I'm just a t-shirt underneath and then I'll probably just like slip on my little Birkenstocks or whatever. And yeah, I'm going to take out my sourdough starter because I need to do that because I need to feed it when we get back. Well, I've been making a lot of sourdough pancakes and it's been the bomb. So you're supposed to leave it out for a few hours and then feed it so it's not super cold. Don't mind my dirty fridge. My fridge is gross and I really need to clean it. I do like a fridge organization, but I need to stock it too because we're kind of running low on like everything. D is out about to go get me a coffee because mama needs that caffeine to start the day. So let's go ahead and let's get the kids up because it's starting to get a little late and I'm trying to get out there before. Hi. Good morning. So I put Peppa on for them because she's just really cranky, which is totally fine. I understand. I'm not a morning person either. So I just put Pe Peppa on and the kids have been loving Peppa the pig lately. So we've been watching her kind of a lot and I think she's really cute. I like this cartoon. Very cute. So I am going to try and straighten up the room, let a little bit of light in here real quick. And yeah, so I'm just going to kind of straighten up this way when we come back, things are clean and it's a little less stressful of a transition between being out and coming home. I always like to come home to a clean house. So let's clean really quick. Of course, thank you. Give me a kiss. Watch out. Found your basket. Good job. You guys ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Are you, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Is your hat? Farmer knows the. <laughs> Look at you. Hi, Nola. His hat keeps falling off, so he wants to wear it. Hi. So we just 
We just arrived here at the farm. You guys, it's so cute. We're just running around in the front. We haven't even gone inside yet, but this farm is so much cuter than the last one we went to. It was cute, but this one is like cute, cute. So I'm really excited and cannot wait to bring you guys along with us. Dee's still in the car, but we're just out here exploring real quick. So fun. So many good picture spots too. So fun. Look at you, big boy. Oh. probably gonna die so I'm probably gonna get some more footage on my phone so sorry if the quality changes but the girl forgot to pack an extra battery so there's that It was so fun you guys and the fruit is so so fresh and it's so damn good I love it right now I'm gonna try and make this little snack for the kids I saw Milena Ciciotti do this on her I think it was Instagram but I was like yes I need to try that because my kids love fruit and yogurt so it's I think it's called yogurt bark or something like that I don't know we're gonna try it though all you need is um, oh here are all of our fresh fruits that we picked and all of the peaches are in the it's beautiful peaches like they're beautiful but we do need this for our snack oh, they're not gonna be beautiful for long if I keep doing that but I washed all the fruit already I didn't wash the peaches we got like a lot of fruit and then also for this little snack we need something to put the yogurt in and kind of spread it out and I also have the honey oat granola by Red Hill or Bob's Red Hill um, I never tried this before but I just opened it a few minutes ago and it's actually really good so I'm gonna put this on top you guys will see how I do it and then we're gonna stick it in the freezer and let it freeze and hopefully it'll be a good snack and I'll update you guys if they like it so we're gonna put this together real quick and a little update on the kids the kids had so much fun as you guys can see probably in that footage it was such a good time the kids really really enjoyed themselves i changed into some more comfier clothes just because our clothes got super super dirty and we just needed to change the kids took a bath so they're in some clean outfits or pajamas whatever you want to call them and yeah so 
it went really well we had so much fun we love doing stuff like that i just think it's so fun to get the kids out and about and you know in nature love that let me get a spoon and yeah so we had a really 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 good time i'm just gonna stir this yogurt up real quick because it's looking kind of weird it was a really good time we really enjoyed ourselves i can't say that enough the farm was so cute it's like 20 minutes or so away from our house not far at all so we're definitely going to be going back there it was cuter than the ot the other farm ot that we went to um that farm was cute too but this farm was just like too cute like i was saying earlier in the vlog but um Jody D went out to go do an errand real quick. The kids are eating. We picked up a pizza and the transition was a little bit rough. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was kind of hard getting them to settle down. Noah did not want to leave. Of course, he never wants to leave anywhere fun. So he was crying and stuff when we got in the car. That's OK, though. He still had a really good time. He lost his hat. We had to go back and find it. Thank God Dodie D found it. I called D Dodie if you guys didn't know, but he found it and um yeah so thank god he found it because noah was freaking out so i'm stirring this yogurt it looks all smooth now and i think that's what we want beautiful okay so let's make this little toddler snack and see if the kids like it after this though i'm gonna put the kids down hopefully for a nap let this freeze for a few hours and then hopefully get into some home decor stuff and yeah Watching sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get the kids to go down for a nap. I didn't put blueberries on there because Nola really doesn't like them, so oh I'm looking rough, you guys. The day at the farm was so much fun, but <laughs> crazy. Golden, golden, I'll follow. <clears throat> okay, so it's the next day. I did not pick up the camera yesterday after the kids tried their little snack. The kids actually really liked the snack. I really like the frozen yogurt too. I will definitely be making that again. And now I'm just making sourdough pancakes. If you guys have not tried this, I just use my sourdough starter. So good. Yes, it's pretty messy. Pancakes get messy, but it's all good. I like using cups because it's so much easier to pour. But anyway, so we had a really good day yesterday. Family came over, just chilling. And I didn't pick up the camera, but I'm making pancakes now and I cannot wait. So today, hopefully we'll get into some home decor stuff. And yeah. <laughs> so Nola's up here on the learning tower. Oh. Uh, making little pancakes for the kids. Hi. Okay, so the kids are finally down for a nap. It's about like 2.33 and I am going to start on this little DIY project. So I'm doing the cane bookshelves. We already have the bookshelves and I really wanted to add a little bit of this cane material to it. I just thought it would be cute and make it a little bit different and like, I don't know, spruce it up a little bit, jazz it up. I don't know, but I'm gonna soak. Okay, let me show you guys what I'm doing. He's over there trying to get the other bookshelf off the wall. <laughs> They're really hard to get off the wall. 
but I was able to get this one off. I, I got these bookshelves from Amazon. I'll try to find them, but I know Ikea has some good ones too. I'm going to take this cane material, and the first thing I'm going to do is just soak it in some water. Doing this makes it just a little easier to work with from what I've read. I also got this cane material also off of Amazon, so I'm just soaking it in some warm water. So hopefully it's a little bit easier and flexible to work with. Another thing you're gonna need for this is a staple gun. So <laughs> hopefully I don't staple my fingers with this thing. I'm it soak here for a few minutes. It's definitely a lot more flexible to work with. Cut out little strips to cover the opening with. And yeah, that's really it you guys. And then hang them back on the wall. Honestly, I shouldn't Caught up in my feelings Messed up and I'm sprung Something in your smile that It makes me wanna come over Can I come over? This is what the bookshelves turned out like. They're very cute, very simple to do. Next, I wanted our baskets on the wall, but kind of like cluster them up more like a basket wall. And then I also wanted to hang a new poster that we got over here, this little sign language poster from Gather. And the toy room is kind of just a mess anyway, but um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna do that. Wanna come over, thinking about your ocean. Swimming pool is closed and I'm in the deep end. The waves are washing over. I know I'm not sober. Can I come closer? I wanna come over. When you leave me like that, girl, don't do me like that. Ooh, when I think about that, I'll be coming right back on. This is how the basket wall turned out. I absolutely love it. I ordered extra baskets that I didn't have already, like these on Facebook Market, and then this one we had already, and this one was Facebook Market too. They all came together for like $20, you guys, so not bad at all, and I absolutely love it. I've been wanting to do this, I've been wanting to do this for a while. And then this basket we already had, and it has strawberry stains in it, but it's all good, it adds a little bit of character. <laughs> This is what it's looking like. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. I've been wanting to refresh this area for a little bit and I'm loving it. I moved the wall tidy over just a little bit and we want everything always at their level. That's definitely what we practice with Montessori. So everything I try to keep where they can reach it at all times. They have, I, this is the sign language poster I showed you guys in another vlog. I think it's so cute. and. My husband actually learned sign language in high school and he thought this was cute and I like it too. So here's the poster, very cute, I love it. We still have their dolly basket right there. I really need to vacuum the rug. Yeah, you guys loving it, very cute. I have a new rug that we also got in the closet. So when the kids wake up, I wanna put that out as well. I told you there was gonna be a lot of like home decor, like refresh stuff and yeah so i can't wait for you guys to see the new rug you guys gotta let me know if you like it or not i saw it i opened it already because like your girl just couldn't wait and i think i'm on the fence about it i like it we'll see how like i feel when i actually lay it down in the space but um it's definitely a change from the one we have it's kind of like a big change so excited to do that and we'll probably do that next this is what Noah's having for lunch and yeah, I mean lunch slash early dinner. He'll probably have like another bigger snack as well. And we'll see maybe if he wants to eat something else, I'll make him something else. But this is just white cheddar macaroni, leftovers, veggie chips, and blueberries. These are the blueberries that we picked yesterday. it's looking like I think I love it the kids are eating cinnamon rolls right now Noah's just chilling because he still just woke up from his nap 
and I gave him a little bit of a treat but yes look at this carpet it's actually a lot darker I feel like in person than it's showing up on the camera but I don't know what do you guys think let me know down below does it fit the room the vibes I feel like it does I still have to kind of move it around a little bit like probably a little bit over hi but I don't know this is what we're working with and I think I like it the rug is from rugs USA I think it's a new loom a new loom rug are you waving hi yeah so it's by the brand new loom and I got it from rugs USA and I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in checking this out but it's cute like it has a lot of beige in it but it's still like dark enough where it has depth and I feel like it gives the room kind of more of a vintage feel and I'm so here for that so yeah let me know what you guys think down below so I also wanted to share with you guys the car seat this is the maxi cozy we got two of these for the kids I have one still on the box so we'll probably do like an unboxing and full review on these eventually at some point when we use it more um, we don't have them fully installed in the car yet and I'll tell you more about that and the reason why in a different vlog maybe but um, yes we have used it more than a few times and we do like it so far but um, yeah I love the color it's super cute and it's super safe from all of the reviews and research that I've done so a lot of you guys were yeah a lot of you were asking for my thoughts on it and we have used it and we do like it but I will do like a full install video review all that stuff probably coming up soon but yes yeah, so this is the maxi cozy and I have gotten a lot of questions about it on Instagram when I showed it a few weeks back and yeah so very nice and I just thought I would share it here on the vlog because <laughs> I've been getting asked about it and yeah so more to come about the car seat and all of that in a different video also real quick before I end the vlog I did want to share working moms with you guys I have been watching this show is a good mom well I'm not dumping your issues on them to start <laughs> or dumping them in the trash the babies not shaking them keep them out of pools and fountains and lakes Okay, let me not play this for copyright, but I have been watching it for a while and I just recently started watching it again because I said I saw they have new episodes, so I'm like re-catching up because it's been a while. And it's so funny and it's good. I love this show. I think I'm on season two, season two, episode 13 now. Okay, baby. But um, yes, check out Working Moms if you guys haven't seen it. It's pretty funny and relatable. And I like this show, so that's what it looks like. All has given me some perspective. Working moms. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel like I have so much footage, and I it's gonna take a long time to edit. But I hope you guys like this vlog. It had a lot of home decor and all kinds of fun stuff in it. I hope you guys liked it. Strawberry picking was really fun. That good um, snack idea was really good. I'm actually about to go have one of those right now so good anyways i'll leave the i'll leave the rug down below if you guys are interested in checking it out and same old same old you guys make sure you like subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you in the next one bye